Hey, what's going on everybody? Mr. 1185 here with a quick ROM review on my Nexus 7. This is the Smooth ROM version 4.1. Uh, as you can see, I already has some customizations down with the navigation bar. Um, I downloaded this ROM because I wanted a little bit more um, customization to my Nexus 7 so I can just do some things I want to. So um, let's get into it. First of all, we'll drop down. You can see this is not 4.2. I'm actually downloading another ROM right now, which is paused, which is one cool feature about this ROM is it does come with a Roma installer. And it gives you the option to pick your, pick your browser. And I picked the Dolphin browser just for the fact that it gives you a couple more options. And I didn't know this, but you can actually pause your downloads. So I took my tablet off Wi-Fi to do this. And I was able to pause it so it's not going to cancel out. So once I, once I finish, I put it back on Wi-Fi and then go ahead and resume that. I did download Apex Launcher just to see if I can get some differences um, from the launcher that comes with this but didn't like it too much so I just ran with what it had for stock. It does have a camera app which is cool front facing camera you can see me there uh, you can do panoramic and video uh, DSP manager for audio comes with the Goo manager download the Play Store uh, as well I had to download YouTube Play Music was a part of the apps that it asked me if I wanted to download that in Gmail um, but it doesn't come with a ton so it's pretty lightweight uh, we'll go into settings and as you can see I can do this from the home screen because I have the um, navigation bar options so I could go ahead and just do right here system settings and we will go to uh, system here's where you can update your status bar you can take your clock off take your clock on battery do circle widget with percentage um, so you can modify your clock. Now you can't put the clock in the middle, but you can modify the AM PM style, mess with the battery um, notification, and then you can show your notification count, which is a really cool uh, modification to have. Go back, notification drawer, power widgets. You can see I have power widgets up top. You can change the order, change which ones are up there. You can have it closed once you click one. Um, haptic feedback, you can save some battery on not having the vibrations. Wallpaper, font size, power menu, you have the option to add screenshot, expanded desktop, uh, profile switcher, airplane mode, sound panel, and reboot menu, and then your navigation bar. Now this is where you can actually add um, a couple more buttons to the bottom. You can't put applications down there like on some ROMs. Um, but you can go ahead and add the menu button and the search button. So it gives you five options now. So you can do the menu button from anywhere or you can hit the search button and it will go right into Google now. Which is a pretty sweet uh, option to have. We'll go back. Lock screen. You can slider. You can go to the slider shortcuts. It gives you eight options now. You can have your calendar and weather come up on your lock screen. Uh, battery information, owner information, clock alignment. Uh, change the, the wallpaper and then security so you can actually have it do face unlock or whichever one you prefer. Going up, we can go to performance. This allows you to clock it to 1600 megahertz. Oops, sorry. Go up to processor and you can go to maximum CPU of 1600 megahertz. Um, the developer set it at 1500. I'm going to leave it that way, which is overclocked. Um, and I think this one's a really really fast ROM so I don't feel the need to move it around you can change the governor you can change your minimums and maximums you can have it set on boot um, the other performance options I really don't mess with um, outside of that it's a pretty pretty simple ROM doesn't come with a lot it does um, give you a couple customization options which I do appreciate um, I do like the option to not have Chrome as my browser but uh, if you have any questions about this, I'll have the link in the description to get the ROM. Very simple to install. Basically, you will boot in your custom recovery, um, wipe factory data, wipe cache, install zip from SD card. The Roma launcher will launch, and it'll ask you what you want in your ROM, and then you will reboot, and you will have it. So this is the review of the Smooth ROM 4.1. If you have any questions, definitely put it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for checking my videos out.
Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Autographs, record tracks to the globe and rap. It was a dream that.